If you use any external values inside your closure, Swift captures them, stores them alongside the closure so they can be modified even if they don't exist anymore. Right now we have a travel function that returns a closure, and the return closure accepts a string as its only parameter and returns nothing. We can call travel to get back the closure, then call that closure freely. Let result equals travel, result London. Closure capturing happens if we create values in travel that get used inside the closure. For example, we might want to track how often the return closure is called. So we'll create counter here, place it into the string, then add one each time the closure is called. Even though that counter variable was created inside travel, it gets captured by the closure, so it will still remain alive for that closure. So if we call result London multiple times, the counter will go up and up.